Yo, yo, what's up, family? Shalom, happy Saturday to you guys. Um, the rain finally stopped. We just got some bad storms and my yard always like floods. <laughs> so, I was sitting here thinking, guys, I know if I deal with it that there's probably quite a few of you that deal with it too. When you deal with negative people, negative energy, you know, it can be draining at times because people like this will will use you, you know, as a way of gaining energy for themselves. Like an energy vampire, more or less. Um, it's almost cringeworthy how some of these people will act, you know, a narcissist, um, in my opinion. Um, a lot of them will play victim online, constantly projecting, constantly slandering other people. It, they'll mimic others that they stalk for years. Um, they're all about drama and fighting, guys. Like, they constantly talk, talk mad <laughs> online. They're never, they don't bear any fruit, you know, and some of them will even say or claim that they believe in God possibly, but they don't, they bear rotten fruit. There's no fruit at all. Um, they will follow, you know, there's really nothing unique about these people. They're, they're, they're kind of like everybody else. The fish that just flow with the current, you know, um, they have no originality. There's no uniqueness to themselves, so they have to copy and stalk and mimic. And um, the people of light, more or less. So, if you're dealing with that, just know that you're that you you're shining, and they want to obtain your energy. They want to obtain your light. And when they can't do that, or they can't take what is yours, what rather that is. You know, you, your significant other, your money, your looks, your job, you know, your success, um, how the Lord blesses you and protects you. See, these things they can't take from you. They can't, they can't take your anointing. They can't take that. And sometimes your spirit will irritate the demons that dwell within people. And Lamentations 352 family, I have been hunted like a bird by those who were my enemies without cause. You can also read more about that in Lamentations 418. Psalms 1015. Whoever slanders his neighbor secretly, I will destroy. Who ha whoever has a haughty look and an arrogant heart, I will not endure. Um... You know, these people are very boastful, prideful, full of themselves, but yet, if they're not getting what they want, they have to then sh switch over and shift to being the victim. So they may even claim, you know, that they're insecure, or they're this, or that they're that. That's only to gain attention. Because these people, they can't, they can't come to terms. There's no accountability from them. They will constantly project and point the finger at everybody else. And they think everybody's scared of them, too. And, and if you'll notice, like, people will ask them in their comments and stuff on social media, you know, who are you talking about? A oh, girl message me. You know, there's, there's never no names. They ain't never going. But they make it seem like they're so brutal and they're so hardcore, you know. Jeremiah 51, 33. For thou says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, the daughter of Babylon is like a threshing floor at the time when it is trodden. Yet a little while, and the time of her harvest will come. Revelation twelve twelve. Therefore rejoice, O heavens, in, who, in you who dwell in them. But woe to you, O earth and sea, for the devil has come down to you in great wrath, because he knows that his time is short. So he's going to ramp up his wickedness in people, family. Um, it says in Psalms thirty seven thirty two. this is quite interesting, the wicked spies upon the righteous and seek to kill him. That I would not be surprised about at all, family, like at the least. Um, Psalm 79, 12, return sevenfold into the lap of our neighbors, the taunts with which they have taunted you, O Lord. 
see, a lot of these people have no idea the lies, the slander, the gossip, the drama, the projection, manipulation, everything. And, you know, and like I've told you guys in the past, they'll have a lot of people fooled. You know, these these people, they, they, they're smart. You know, I'll give them that much. They're, they're able to fool people. But the people of light, the people of God, the anointed ones family, we see right through it. We see through, it's like, you know, like a Tupac hologram. We see right through them, it's fake. You know, it's a show that these people put on. So remember that, you know. Give it to God, let God avenge you. And he will. He always does. So, you know, be encouraged, my friends. I mean, I have some people that's been doing this to me, you know, for, for many, many years now. And um, for a while, like... I mean, I ain't gonna lie to you guys. It got under my skin for many years. It used to. There was a couple of them um, in particular. There was this one chick named Crystal and her friend. Um, I believe the girl's name was Ashton. Yeah, they're probably listening right now, but they won't let me know that. But that's okay. They're just a couple examples. There's many more of them that watch and stalk and mimic and come off as you know as a victim but they're really they're really manipulative cowards but you know I, I I stay off the internet a lot well social media platforms besides YouTube I don't really get on Facebook I deactivated my page before Christmas so and that's done me that's done me some some peace of mind because a lot of these people you know they're they want you to backslide they want you to mess up and go back to your old ways but you need to also let them understand that you're not weak. And you know, and a lot of times these people will come up with a problem, family. Like, they don't even have to know you. Like, these people I just mentioned, they don't know me. One of them in particular caused some drama with my fiancé a few years back. So I guess, like, her other, the other girl is one of her friends. So you know how small towns are, man. Everybody talks. But there was never any proof to anything. So... And, you know, I learned to forgive people, even though I know they were lying and gossiping and slandering people's characters, including my own. But the Lord knows their hearts. And the Lord knows my heart. So, therefore, I ain't got nothing to prove. But, you know, people will go many, many years doing this and playing games with you guys, you know. And if you've got anxiety like me, you know, it almost gives you PTSD almost, you know. I have chronic anxiety, and when people act like this, it'll make you paranoid. You know, for a long time, for many years, it bothered me, family. But when I, about three years ago, when I started, you know, focusing my, my time more on the Lord, that's when things changed for me. And that's when I, this peace of mind, you know, I don't care what these people think. Like, they could be talking about me all day long, and it's like, whatever, girl. Like, y'all ain't never going to come to me face-to-face -face in the flesh. You're never going to put my name out there on social media when people have asked you a thousand times. Like, you get to a point where you can't take them serious. Especially when they absolutely have no reason to hate on you whatsoever. It's, it's either, they, either they don't like you because of who you're with and the fact that you can, I don't know, hold a man down maybe and they can't. Uh, or maybe it's the fact that you're, you know, you're a good mom. You know, maybe it's the fact you're successful. But I had to climb that ladder. And I'm still climbing that ladder. Like, I had to work hard for it. I used to be, a, back 18, 19 years old, was addicted to pills. almost OD'd on pills a couple times. I've come a long way. And I deserve everything I have today. But people will envy that and they won't even know your story. And that's just a little little piece. You know, people don't don't let people get to you. Smile, wish those folks well, pray for them, because people definitely need prayer to act like that, family. You know, it's very it's very wicked. They don't even understand how wicked it is. It's they're so used to living a lie and 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 having this look to them that it's it's hard for them to keep up. They get tired after a while. And, and you'll see them admit that subtly. It's like subtle messages, you know. Um, like subliminally. They'll let you know that they're tired of the act. They're tired of, you know, putting this persona on that they're 
what they claim they are. But anyway, family, um, there's many more scriptures, you know, when it comes to um, being angry and letting anger go. Ephesians 4, 26, Be ye angry and sin not, and, not, and do not let the sun go down on your wrath. You know, pray and forgive these people. Because, buddy, they used to piss me off so bad. I mean, I'm talking about scandalous, just ain't got no logic, no sense. And, I mean, and you know how narcissistic they are. They prove that time and time again. Just pay attention to how people promote themselves and how people act on social media, guys. They'll tell you right then and there if they're a narc or if they're full of their manipulative. You've just got to learn to discern the spirits within people. And sometimes these people won't even know these types of um, wicked spirits dwell within them. That's why they need people like me and other people to pray, bind and rebuke it. You know, hopefully these people will change their ways because ultimately they're going to continue to be bitter and miserable if they don't change. They'll never have a, you know, a stable living, a stable anything, stable relationship, st stable kids, st you know, nothing. It's, you know, but they'll come off on social media like they got it all. But remember, anybody can make themselves look like they want to on social media. I mean, look at all the filters and all the different things you can do with filters. It's crazy. So just, um, oh, and in 1 Peter 2.15 Peter tells us, For it is God's will that by doing good, you should silent the ignorant talk of foolish people. You know? So, there's many, many scriptures, family. Um, I'll read you a couple more. Psalms 55, 12 through 15. For it is not an enemy who taunts me, then I could bear it. It is not an adversary who deals with me, that I could handle him. But it is you, a man my equal, my companion, my familiar friend. You know, sometimes it may be somebody you know. Family member, an old friend or an old ex-friend. You know, it may not necessarily be strangers. But either way, guys, keep close to the Lord and give it to Him. <laughs> Psalms 41.9 Even my close friend, someone I trusted, one who shared my bread, has turned against me. See, so you're going to have people turn on you. You're going to have people hate you and persecute you for no apparent reason. They don't have to have a reason. When you are an, a chosen one, an anointed one of God, the Most High God, these things will happen. Jeremiah went through it. You can read about that in Jeremiah 20.10. Psalms 55.21. His speech was smooth as butter. Yet war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet they were drawn swords. Hebrews 13, 6. So if we say with confidence, the Lord is my helper, I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? Isaiah 26, 3 family. You keep him in perfect peace.